Tatum is not a top five player in the league. He might not even be the best player on the Celtics. In this video, I will expose the truth about Jason Tatum and why he is overrated. First of all, it is important to note that Tatum is a volume shooter who takes a lot of shots and he misses a lot of them. He leads the league in field goal attempts with 1,547 and field goals missed with 827. That means he's shooting at only a 46.6% from the field, which is below average for a small forward, ranking 226 in the league. He also takes a lot of threes, 681 to be exact, but he only makes 35% of them, which is below average for his position, ranking 218th in the league. He relies too much on his ISO game and doesn't move the ball enough. He averages only 4.6 assists per game, which is 62nd in the league while getting the fourth most minutes in the NBA. Secondly, Tatum is not a consistent performer who shows up every night. He had some amazing games this season when he dropped 60 points against the Spurs or when he dropped 53 points against the Timberwolves, but he also has had some terrible games like when he scored 9 points off 3 of 17 shooting against the Heat, or when he had 13 points on 4 of 18 shooting against the Knicks. He tends to disappear in big games and struggle against elite defenders. He also has a low scoring average on the road versus home, 29 versus 32, and he has a lower scoring average against teams above 500, which is 28.7 versus 31.4. Also, Tatum is not a good leader who makes his teams better or elevates his teams to the next level. Celtics have had some disappointing runs this season despite having a talented roster. They finished second in the Eastern Conference with a record of 57-25, and 25, right behind the Bucks. They have been inconsistent and lackluster throughout the season, losing to much worse teams and falling out of close games. Tatum has not shown enough maturity or accountability to take charge of his teams and inspire them to play harder and work smarter. He also often looks frustrated and disengaged on the court, especially when things are not going his way. Additionally, Tatum's defensive efforts have also been lackluster this season. Despite having the physical tools to being a great defender, he often looks uninterested and lacks effort on that end of floor. He only averages 0.9 steals per game and 0.4 blocks per game, which is below average for a player of his caliber. Additionally, his defensive rating is 111.5, which is below average on his team, which indicates that his team gives up more points when he is on the court. Another concern for Tatum's games is his tendency to rely on contested mid-range jumpers, which are inefficient shots in today's NBA. He takes an average of 5.1 per game from mid-range and only makes 38.6% of them. In contrast, he only takes 3.9 shots per game from the restricted area which is his most efficient area on the court, and he only makes 58% of them. I also think that there is a lot of players better than him, and here are a few. Shea has been really underrated this season, and he's averaging more points, assists, steals, blocks, field goal percentage, and free throw percentage, all in less minutes than Tatum. Another player I think is better is Luka. He averages more points, assists, steals, field goal percentage, all in less minutes. Finally, Damian Lillard, he averages more points, assists, field goal percentage, three-point percentage, and free throw percentage. Now, I'm not saying Tatum is a bad player because he's still a great player on a great team, but I feel like he's not the fourth best player in the league like everyone says he is. If you're still watching this, it must mean that you like this video. So if you could like and subscribe, it would mean a lot. If you have any videos you want to see, let me know in the comments.